Right, we're gonna go and uh, check out the back of Tim's van and set my OCD off. <laughs> oh, nice teal coloured pillows. Right. So the Pug Palace, Craig. Famous blue van from YouTube. Yeah. Look. Just look at that hammerite on the side. <laughs> wow. I mean, wow, yeah. I didn't tidy for you, you can probably see. How rude. <laughs> Three tubs of quality street and just put all that. It's funny you should say that because I, I did get um, a goodie bag last winter, but I ended up not bothering. So here we go. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing seeing it on YouTube, but how the bloody hell do you get in here? All of this has to go into there every night. Yeah, I've got a bit too much, really. I mean, uh, I do like that fridge heater, <laughs> but, you know, I've got this idea of doing some painting. haven't done it yet. Uh, oh, that's one of Brett's paintings there, by the way. If you remember the Urban Stealth camper van, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I like this. This is nice. Oh, that was given to me by uh, uh, Super Lena Karina, the uh, Indian family in... Uh, Wellingborough. This bed, I mean, I can see it's sturdy, constructed well. That is a Victorian lead paint door. With... Got, this is a bit more organised than the back of my van, though. You've got, I like you've got labels on it. Yeah, that's little projects I got for the car. Mm. Uh, yeah, stuff I need for, you know, phone and uh, audio batteries that kind of thing wires low low power wires and uh yeah it's just random fluids everything from washing liquids to window cleaners and oil yeah that's one of the voids uh that's basically the stuff i don't use as much as the rest of it that should be up there down there oh, i can use it every morning couldn't find it this morning <laughs> yeah, so obviously when I sleep all this crap goes on the driver's seat. So how how long on average does it take you to clean out all of this to get in the front seat to be oh, able to sleep? I got it down to like less than two minutes now. Like that. But I don't put much thought into it. Let's have a little sit down. Yeah, so you got down there. Uh, inch of memory foam and then uh, an inch of air bed on top so it's comfy you see you, you can't quite sit up in bed <laughs> yeah it's actually not too yeah uncomfortable no it's not it's, I, I sleep well in there even nomadic kangoo is probably watching he said his bed he built in his van was the best bed he ever had you'll probably find it more comfortable than the one i've got in my van oh oh uh, i get i get to sleep in uh Craig's <laughs> bed <laughs> Ah, fuck. Right, let's go and check out Craig's van. Yeah, let's go and have a look around. He's taken his bars off just to get it into uh, underground car parks and stuff. This is way taller than uh, my van. It looks like it's about 6'1 there. I mean, I can see onto the roof of my van, but not onto the top of this. Action. Right, 2008 Ford Transit Connect. Uh, long wheelbase, pretty standard in there. Um, nice little cab though. I like the. I like this. So oh, nice come. armrest. Yeah, yeah nice. that's where my bed goes up to there. Nice little armrest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got some... Oh look, he's cleaned it. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't clean out my lunch yesterday though. Yes. Uh, got a nice little. I put in a parking sensor, a reverse camera. Sorry. Oh, very good. Uh, a little cheap one off Amazon actually, so I whacked that in there. Got some jump leads and a emergency inverter if I need it under there. Just in case my electric starts. I was having problems with my uh, inverter in the back when I first got it, so that's kind of my emergency one, but it all seems yeah. to be working now. Yeah, pretty standard up there. Looks like any old builder's van, but this is where the magic happens in the back of this. Wow! Well, let me open up the back doors because the lights are bright. Yeah. Oh 
Yes. So you got like a, a so sofa this, bed thing. Yeah, so this is a slide out um, bed with storage underneath. So these are little storage units. Um, but this whole thing slides out to, yeah. to there. And then this mat, this is a futon mattress. Yeah. It's hooked up to the back by little hooks. Uh, when I want to sleep, I just unhook it and slide it all the way out. But um, gives me about, well, it's close to it. It's, it's, it's like a large single. Mm. It's two people in it, I've, I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, got my and that, that's not a story for mixed company. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not a story yeah. for this video. It's a family show. Uh, that's a <laughs> catchphrase. Uh, got some, so this is my inverter here. Ooh. So yeah, jump in. Have a, have a oh, yes. That's 1100 watt inverter. Wow. Got some pieces. Um, oh, oh, oh you got the uh, flan, flan fire puff going get go get a coin drop of flan silly go go go. I was gonna say you're not a van lifer unless you've been there. Yeah, the souvenir shop there is just epic. It's expensive, that's why I bought a cheap sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I got me a little stove. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's Cast stove. Piss bottle, obviously. Toilet. Piss bottle. Can you can you imagine his gentleman vegetable if that's his piss bottle I mean <laughs> ladies <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um, yeah water although I've never used this yeah but don't get confused with the diesel <laughs> <It's> <laughs> when, the when you get a diesel tank in there yeah and then all you like cooking stuff plates bits and pieces it's all here so oh, you got a vent? That's flat, nice. Flat oh, I vent. need that. <clears throat> and sorry, the lights have died, haven't they? Yeah. So I went a bit overboard with the insulation when I built it, and these are only four watt down lights, so they're basically poked through yeah. wood insulation. They must have overheated. I think day one they overheated, so I need to somehow get the roof down, pull out a lot of that insulation, and put some new lights in. But, but how, yeah. how annoying! For now, I just use this little camping camping light. Yeah. When nice. it's dark in here. But these yeah. are thermal blackout curtains, so it's pitch black in here. Yeah. Um, did you, have you slept in it during the cold weather? Yeah, I have. Uh, it's a little bit chilly. Mm. Uh, but I'm going to get a little USB ceramic heater that will be powered off this. It should pump out enough heat. It's actually a very cold day today, <laughs> but I'm wearing a t shirt because I'm Welsh. But if you're English, <laughs> do not try this at home. True story. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. That is my. Oh, love the compass graphic on the back door. Oh, yeah, custom. That nice. is. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Oh, and the two hooks there. Beautiful teal colour. I love it, Craig. I love it. Thank M you. Much better than my van. <laughs> <laughs> so under there, I got like camping chairs and cooking equipment and stuff like that. Ah. And then the bed in lives, I'll just show you what's around here. So all the actual bedding lives up here. Oh wow, he's built a little uh, shelf above his head there. Overhead storage, yeah. It's tall enough for me to sit in there with uh, a lot of headroom, so it's... Mm. Um, it's using the most of the space I have. Oh, I should have done that. I've got too much headroom in my van. Oh. Quite much space, that is. I'm, ju I'm just taking notes here. This is a really well-made small van. <clears throat> There's the electrical system. Oh, yeah. So that's Oh, nice. What's that, 110 there or 75? Or? 120 amp hour battery. 120 amp hours. To a split relay. Oh, yes. Which so, one? there's no solar on this van. So, uh... He's actually running off um, off the engine to charge the leisure battery. But that'll last, yeah, that'll last a while. And then under here I've got... Ooh. Wee! Almost kicking the nuts there. <laughs> under here I've got like tools and oh, stuff. Oh yeah. So I can do repairs on the road, but... I think this design works really well for this kind of van. It really maximises the space yeah. in there and... Uh... But yours is a day van rather than a touring van, isn't it? Yeah, so well, like, you have gone on tours in it. Haven't yeah, you? I've, I've I've done Wales in it. Um, that was a week and a bit, and yeah, the plan is to use it a lot more for a lot longer trips in the future. Mm. Uh, but 
yeah or if the, you know everything goes to shit again I can live in this quite comfortably I think yeah I mean if you if Tim can live in his van for <laughs> what is it what how many months now you're a bit. 19 but who's counting 19 months if you can live in the in the back of that then I'm sure I could live quite comfortably in the back of this yeah if it all goes to pop but. and to all you van lifers out there there's going to be food shortages and power shortages and eating shortages make sure you're sorted out for the winter because they're going to really attack us this winter and next winter if you believe that version of events which uh, I superciliously call reality We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Watch pitch shoot. Uh, one more important thing is you've got to get yourself one of these. Yeah. Tim knows all about this. Don't forget, not all disabilities are visible. Exactly. Yeah. I get some shit on there. People have given me shit on my van tour about that. But I mean, if anyone were to ask me, I, w I would just say, look, I'm a retard. Give me some <laughs> slack. I have behavioural difficulties that involve hitting people, so shut up. I say, you know, just go mad, out, out weird them, it, which isn't too hard for me, but Craig might have trouble being as weird as me. He seems a fairly sane chap. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm not a good judge of character, but uh, yeah, I could be totally wrong. I might not be risking my life just talking to him now. Well, <laughs> if, you ever, if you don't see this video, or you, actually, if you do, but it's not on Tim's channel, then you'll know the answer. Oh, he's stolen my phone, took the memory card out, yeah, and not told you where he's buried the body. Yeah. Yeah. Clever. In the back of the van, it'd take cops a month to find it. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, the interior lights. Yeah. So this is the light switch behind here. Yeah. So that's what it would have been. <laughs> I've got one solid, oh, yeah. one solitary light left. Wow. Wow, you, you couldn't find your ass with both hands with that light on. <laughs> <laughs> that's useless. Yeah. Prob probably not even enough to put your knob in the pee bottle. Well, that's it. We'll have to do it by feel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get sorted, don't we? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the Transit Custom. That's a short wheelbase, but it's got side tinted windows and a body kit. A man can dream. Can't he? <laughs> Alloy wheels off a of Ford Focus. That's nice. Real nice. And the conversation took a serious turn and got rather heavy. Thus, <laughs> now we were just talking about you know all this this stuff and whether you know we live in a society nowadays where if you don't agree with someone, you're your enemies. You know what I mean? That you're you're automatically viewed as 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 right. Well, this person doesn't agree with me, therefore I have or nothing to do with them. But I think it's therefore just, you're a leftoid snowflake. <laughs> I just Let's go, Brandon. It's crazy. We, <laughs> what, what happened to uh, being able to have a different opinion for someone, but still, you know, come and have a conversation, connect. Yeah. At the end of the day, we're all people, and we're all trying to get by. So, yeah. And there, are, there are two genders, male and female. Don't get confused. <laughs> no, I, I definitely, definitely agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think everyone should, we should chill out a bit. You know, chill out, spread yeah. some love, spread some positivity. And uh, chill out and chill out. listen to people who haven't been brainwashed by television. <laughs> yeah, don't don't watch too much television. Oh, Definitely don't God, watch no, too much television. No. In fact, decide what you want to see and nothing else. Don't just sit there passively, have being literally programmed. Actually, even better still, don't watch anything and just get out and experience. That's much more healthy. Yeah, yeah. Get a life, film it, put it on YouTube, and see what kind of idiots try and put you down for it <laughs> <laughs> yeah trolls leave your comments below yeah leave your comments below and I'll immediately press hide user from channel and I'll never <laughs> see you again you loser and that's coming from me an unemployed man on the dole living in a small van I do love trolls I turn them into memes yeah I look forward to the troll comments so yeah please come to my channel troll yeah. me troll me yeah I will love that yeah, what I do with my trolls is I'll pin them let every bugger tell them what time it is and then I'll just ban them. It adds to my revenue, so yeah. Oh yeah, keep going. yeah, and downvote me. If you can just <laughs> watch my video five seconds to downvote me, maybe a little bit of hate in the comments and then just bugger off. 
for every troll comment I get, I get what tenth away to a uh, coffee or a pint. So, oh, a tenth of a pint. That's a sip. A sip per S- insult. A sip per insult. Nice. Yeah. More of them. More of them. More of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want at least ten trolls per video, and that's a pint per video. Perfect. Got a good income if ever. There you go. Right. We're off. We're off. ladies and gentlemen thanks my little home on wheels yep so uh watch craig's uh videos up there uh what else do you want us to watch craig watch his channel up yeah subscribe subscribe there for me yeah or there and uh two others nomadic kangoo nomadic kangoo yeah one more uh you give me one more one more the patels at number armor 